So what we're doing here, we're going to do a new moss rock retaining wall for this flower bed here. So starting up here at the top, we're going to put down a solid base made out of sand in Portland. It's going to harden so our rocks, our stones are not going to sink. We're going to have one stone starting here at level and it's going to work its way all the way around the flower bed. And as the level of the yard sinks, the flower bed edge is going to stay solid, stay level the whole way and we're going to basically add stones below it. So it'll be solid on the bottom. We'll have stones stacked up to the top. install here for a Navy veteran. Uh, this job is a little bit different than the average install job because it's a much bigger lot. This is about a 12,000 square foot lot so on top of the bubbler zones we've got a little bit more irrigation here than we would normally do. Alright so. so right here I'm going to show you guys we've got two heads that are relatively close to each other. The homeowner just asked me why there was two heads that were right next to each other so the reason is this one right here is to water the grass. So this is going to be on a separate zone than the one right here. This is going to be attached to the flower bed zone. So there's going to be different precipitation rates for the grass and for the flower bed. So we like to separate the two. You could technically put them both in the same zone, but it's better to separate. All right, so this is the chopped stone we're going to use for the hardscape job you guys are going to see today. Uh, it's perfect because, you know, it's rough. It's rough on the outside, on you know the outsides, but then on the top and the bottom, it's cut with the machine, so it stacks perfectly. So you still have to put your mortar in there, make sure your ground lines are good, your mortar lines are good, and make sure it's level, but they stack really well. They make for great retaining walls and flower bed borders. So it's gonna look awesome once it goes in. So this is the Mexican river rock right here that we're gonna put on top of the flower bed after we put in the new topsoil and the weed barrier fabric. So this is a, about as high end as it comes. This stuff is beautiful. All it's smooth, it comes in different colors. You got some red colors in there, some grays. With the weed fabric in this, there won't be any weeds coming up. Flower beds look perfect. You can still plant in this as well. Just move them out of the way, put your plants in, put them back around. It. The thing I like about Living Earth, not only is it right by Pecan Grove, but these guys really have everything. They have all the types of mulch you can want over here. You can see a little bit of red mulch. We got your black mulch, we got brown mulch. Over here, this is like a a uh, higher end brown mulch and some sand the topsoil. So these guys really have a little bit of everything. They have stone, they have rock, they have bull rock, gravel. You guys will see a little bit of all of this in the jobs we got coming up today. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm out here at a brand new install job we're doing in Pecan Grove. This job's got a little bit of everything. This is a true landscape construction project. It's got irrigation, landscape lighting, new sod, grading, brand new flower beds. We got some hardscape additions as well, guys. It's got a little bit of everything. Yeah, so we're out here it. installing some fresh sod around the new pool deck. My supervisor, Chris, you can see what he has done. He's coming with a shovel and basically dug out a couple inches deep. So the edge of the sod is gonna be even with or below the level of the deck to make sure that the water can drain off. If not, you end up holding the water on the edges. It'll stay, stay caught up on the pool deck. You'll get stains, you'll have issues. All right, guys, you know, in landscaping, you don't always get perfect weather. So we've had a lot of rain over the last couple weeks. You can see at our job site here, we've taken the extra time to go out and buy some plywood, lay plywood in every one of our entrance areas so we're not tearing up the work we've already done. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jason with Plantation Irrigation and Landscaping coming to you from our shop here in Richmond, Texas. I'm out here today with this brand new Kohler Command Pro 200cc engine on this nice Exmark mower. We got the opportunity to demo this from Kohler and also Action Sales and Service in Stafford, Texas. Thank you guys so much. 
a little bit about this thing. From first experience on my part, this thing's got a lot more power than the comparable mower that we have. It's similar to this one. So it's got a lot more power. It seems to have a little bit better air filter. Um, I ran it a little while ago through some pretty thick grass, you'll see, and it had no problems cutting through it. I almost have to run to keep up with this thing. It's got so much power. So it handles really well as well. But I'm here with Marcus Tyler. He's the owner and uh, head, I guess, what gymnastics instructor for in Enrich right. Gym and Dance here. Uh, him and his wife are the head instructors here. My daughter comes here, so uh, you know this is one of the local businesses that, in my opinion, is is booming. This place is always full. The parking lot's always packed. They're about to be doing some expansion here, so um, we did the landscape install here for these guys. But my daughter also takes two classes a week here, so we love this place. Marcus, if you want to tell me a little bit about the place, you can, man. Wow. Uh, so we've been open for about a year and a half. Um, this was a 12-year uh, a odyssey to get to this point, so it's been pretty awesome. Um, we felt like that um, Richmond needed um, the services that, that we felt like we could provide at a high level. We owned a dance studio in Sugarland for 10 years, um, and I coached all over Houston um, in that time, but now we're here. and and everything is, seems to be doing well. Hey, so we're wrapping up the day here at Enrich Gym. We talked to Marcus here, got to see a little bit of their operation. This place is amazing, guys. We were very lucky to do the install for the landscape, irrigation, drainage, and everything like that when they first came out here. But ever since then, we've had an even more, I guess, a better relationship with our daughter going here to this place. This place is awesome, so I'd recommend anybody come out here. So thanks for following us around today, guys. Check you later.